Welcome Leo. This is your reading and we're going to take a look at what is coming out for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so let's get some energy for Leo. Now, if this reading resonates, like, subscribe, share, please. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more with you. Okay, but let's take a look. Let's see what's coming out for Leo. Energies for Leo. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, there we go. Okay. So Leo, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So there may be a situation, there may be someone coming forward <coughs> that's giving off a lot of red flags that, you know, maybe someone that you're attracted to, I'm getting, but um, may not want the best for you, right? At the bottom, we have true love. So this could be a romance of a lifetime, but I'm sensing that there may be some obstacles that are in the forefront before this actually turns into some kind of true love. Okay, so be aware of any red flags that you're seeing. There, there's something that's just not adding up. Leo, and it may be with this person or it may be with someone else. It may be that you're currently with a person that is throwing off a lot of red flags. They're throwing off these energies of not being sincere, um, not coming across as someone you can trust. But we do have true love, maybe that you're not expecting, that you may meet someone else due to seeing these red flags and moving away from this situation, okay? <clears throat> now, we also have bright ideas. So this is Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So, you may be getting some brilliant ideas. You know, there may be something that you want to create, something that you want to start up. Maybe it's a business. Maybe it's a project. Um, maybe it's a hobby that you want to turn into something lucrative, right? But I feel like, you know, you're getting those ideas. We also have comfort at the bottom. So, Archangel Azrael. I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. So yeah, I've, and that could be due to these red flags here. But I feel like you're looking to be comforted. You're looking for that shoulder to lean on, that support. Okay? <clears throat> so hang tight, Leo. Be strong. You're fierce. Okay, let's get some more energy for Leo. What's going on with Leo? Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> we have mending. Yeah, you're healing your heart. You're on the mend. And we have not for you. Yeah, I feel like that's exactly what I was feeling. Leah, I feel like this person that's throwing up the red flags, you're seeing that this relationship is not for you. This person is not for you. You're meant for someone totally different. You're meant for this true love, right? This romance of a lifetime. So I feel like whatever broke your heart, Leo, you're looking for something totally different. You're looking for that person who's going to come real correct, who's not going to lie, cheat, or steal, right? So I feel like you're healing. And that is, 
I feel like that's exactly where you need to be in order to escalate into this new situation that's coming forward. Okay, so I feel like you are on the right path. You are exactly where you need to be at this moment. Okay, so don't let your emotions get the best of you. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. Let's get a message for Leo. What does Leo need to know, please? <clears throat> I don't know what's up with my voice right now. My goodness. It's just like... Wow. Okay. Someone's throat chakra could be blocked. Someone's having a hard time finding the words or trying to speak the words or say how they feel. Because <clears throat> I feel like there's a blockage right here, right? Right here in my throat. Like something wants to come out, but it's just like being blocked. <clears throat> okay, let's get some current energy for Leo. Let's put, move past this energy, right? So, current energies for Leo. Look at this, the Empress. Wow, you could be male or female taking on the Empress energy. The Empress energy is a master manifester. They're bringing forward new ideas, new creativity. Um, they're also very bold and beautiful and attractive. You know, they're they're in this way of giving birth to, to new ideas or, you know, literally giving birth. Maybe you're looking to start a family. Maybe you're looking to get pregnant sometime soon. You're very fertile for this energy, right? So let's take a look at what's going on with Leo for the near past. What's going on in past energy? Okay. So we have the Page of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. I'm really sensing three. You may be moving away from some three party situation. You're moving away from this energy, Leo. I feel like you had the option of two, you know, or you were going back and forth between two people. Um, and the odd thing is, I feel like these two people were kind of working together. They knew about each other and they're like, okay with the situation, right? Oh my goodness. What kind of situation did you have yourself in, Leo? Okay, tell me about the future energy. Tell me about the future energy, please. Give me a message for Leo. Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Okay. Ooh, Leo. <clears throat> For this future injury, I'm really getting that there's a lot of things that you have going on. You're very busy, right? Um, but with this Knight of Pentacles energy, I feel like there's an offer on the table. But it's an offer that is kind of all in or nothing at all. And I feel like, what I feel like saying, Leo, is that with this Seven of Cups energy, I want to say to you, all that glitters is not gold, right? There's opportunities before you. Some of them are illusions. Some of them are lies. Some of them are 
the opportunity of a lifetime. But you have the opportunity to choose. But will you make the right choice in your decision? You know, will you make the right choice for this opportunity? Whatever is being presented to you. Right? So very interesting. We're going to go ahead and clarify that too. Okay. <clears throat> so give me some clarity for the Page of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. Give me more of a message for this. I really want to know more about this situation because I feel like it's a three-party situation, but I feel like they're okay with it. Like they're working together. They're teaming up. Could be that they found out about each other and now they're teaming up against you. Hmm. But the hard thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, Leo, the hard thing is you could be pregnant from this situation. You could be pregnant from this third party situation. That's not going to resonate with all of you. Right? Obviously. Tell me more about this Page of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Okay. The Five of Cups. And the Queen of Wands. Someone was very manipulative. Someone is kind of making you choose something but for some of you I feel like this is very passionate energy this is very giving energy someone someone is you know really going for what they want they're not taking no for an answer they're willing to work very hard for something that's going to make them a lot of abundance a lot of happiness you know, they're bringing this into fruition. But for some of you, this is someone that you had to walk away from because they were being very manipulative. I feel like this person, this Queen of Wands, I feel like this Queen of Wands was using you for what they could get. Using you to get ahead. Okay? And I feel like you, you know, you're noticing what it is that you're losing in this situation and you're ready to just take what's left and walk away. Okay? Tell me more about this Five of Cups. Tell me more about this Five of Cups, please. Yeah, you're creating something different. You peep this game. You saw the signs. Now you're, you know, you're gone within yourself to be alone. Because you're like, I can create something better on my own than I can with this. Okay? Because this is very manipulative. You feel like you're losing rather than gaining. With this Queen of Wands energy. Hmm. Okay, tell me about this Ten of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Tell me more about this. What's going on in Leo's future? Justice. I like it. The Eight of Cups. Yes. The Death card. Wow. Okay. So definitely, definitely you see this person for what they're doing. You see the situation for what it is. And you're tired of carrying all these burdens. You're tired of feeling like you're carrying all the weight on your own. So something is being balanced in your favor, Leo. You're getting your karma. Something is made right when it was wrong. And you're able to move away from the situation and totally transition, totally end it, right? It's done. It's over with. It's, it's dead and gone. 
you're not turning your you're not turning back to the situation you've totally let it go it is a done deal but you're getting your karma here something is turning in your favor and something that was wrong is made right okay tell me more about this justice eight of cups death card Tell me, tell me more spirit. Give me more messages. We have the devil in reverse. Okay, we have the page of swords in reverse and we have the moon. So I still feel like there's something that's, that's left unsaid. There was something that was very negative, very toxic. There was someone who was really telling you lies. Uh, they were maybe gossiping about you. They weren't telling the truth. I feel like the truth wasn't in them because we have this devil in reverse. Um, so definitely something is totally being blocked. Okay. And something is being revealed. Where something is hidden and blocked, something is being revealed to you. You're, you're seeing what you need to see. You're finding out what needs to be found out in this situation something is totally revealed or uncovered okay and i feel like it's the the path that you'll be going on next right um we have the eight of swords at the bottom so i feel like something was holding you something was holding you to the situation Maybe it's that you have children in the situation or maybe that you are actually reminiscent about the way you used to feel about this person or about the situation. But I feel like you're walking away from it. You're no longer feeling like you're left out in the cold, like you're doing things on your own. You know, you have you're, you're waiting for this completion. This completion hasn't happened yet, but you're waiting for it. Okay, you're waiting for things to happen. You're waiting for things to move. You may be literally moving out of the situation or away from the situation. Maybe you're going to a different town, a different city, a different house, a different home. But you're trying to find your way again. You're working through things and you're literally moving. You're trying to find your path, right? And I feel like while you're on that journey... That's when this love comes in, you know, that may be where you find this true love that we have here. Okay. But I, I feel like this is something that you're not expecting. You don't expect this to happen when it does, you know, but this person may be very influential. They may be. You know, they may have their own business, have their a very good job, a good career. But this person is ready to wine and dine you, right? This person has their shit together. They're stable. They're solid. They're looking for a commitment. They're loyal. So I, I feel like, you know, you are destined to move into this situation now with the three of cups energy you're finished with this third party situation you're totally finished with it you may end up cutting out friends cutting out people from your life not even pursuing them anymore um letting them go right um because you feel like your emotions are like overwhelmed, you know, you're looking for this new beginning, this new love, and you feel very overwhelmed, like it's not going to happen, like, you know, you're in doubt, okay, but let's take a look at, let's take a look at another deck, let's see what's going on for Leo, give me more messages for Leo, how, how is this? situation going to develop give me a message for Leo please okay yeah we have the tower we have the tower in reverse 
So there's definitely some changes that, you know, you aren't expecting, but I feel like you're kind of fearing those changes. Like you're trying to hold everything together. You're trying to stop this tower from collapsing, you know, but I, I feel like there's not really a way for you to do that, right? Now, I do see that there is some completion here. You are going to find that completion. And uh, I feel like it's a lot of lessons you learned, but it's moving you into a more stable place, a more happy place. You know, you're able to focus on yourself, on the things that you love. So I feel like this, this ending, this completion had to happen for you to move into this better space. Now tell me more about what's going to happen with Leo. Uh, give me a message for Leo, please. What is the outcome? Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. Someone's going to want to come back. Someone is planning to come back, planning to... spend time with you we, you know we do have we have the eight of pentacles the six of cups and the two of wands so there's definitely someone's working on a situation here someone is working to bring families back together okay um maybe a family was torn apart you know there was some kind of strife or challenge they kind of broke up this family here, right? But I feel like, you know, someone's making plans. Someone's trying to bring things together. Someone's trying to make things happen. And, you know, this could also be a travel card. So I feel like you may be making plans to travel. Uh, it may be for work. You may be making plans to see family that you may not have seen in a while or just to get your head together right tell me more about this message spirit give me a message for leo the six of pentacles and the knight of pentacles wow the three of cups now, if this was a third party situation, I feel like they're going to veer their ugly head again. You know, this could just be you trying to deal with your social group. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're finally gaining balance in this situation. You're looking for something that's fair, something that's valuable. And I feel like there's a very fair offer on the table. There's something very fair on the table here for you. Uh, something that's going to bring in good news, good assets, good increase. You know, and maybe a new job opportunity. Maybe something that you enjoy doing. Maybe you pursued this by networking, by someone in your social group referring the situation to you. Um, but I feel like you're, you know, you're being very social. And I feel like this is something that's going to happen very fast. Okay. Um, but what Spirit is telling me is don't act in haste. Don't try to win at all costs. Right. Because there's always a cost. If you're too aggressive with something that you're pursuing right so give me more messages for Leo what else does Leo need to know messages for Leo tell me more about this Empress actually tell me more about this Empress Empress energy the Emperor these are counterparts there's going to be an offer there's going to be a proposal some kind of offer that you're not expecting, you know. Um, someone's going to make a move on you, Leo, with this Page of Cups, Empress and Emperor card. These are counterparts. This is divinely guided to meet, right? This is that true love 
that we were seeing. So there's definitely someone new coming your way. There's someone new coming that you may not be expecting, but I feel like they have an offer. And I feel like, you know, you may be in the situation to where you, you're a little weary about what just transpired, what just happened. So you feel like you're not ready for it, like you're not ready to pursue it. But I feel like it's not going away, right? And yeah, I, I feel like your emotions are upside down. But look, even, even your actions are like upside down. But once we get to this empress, she's right side up. She's something that you're focused on, that you can see, that you can feel, that you can taste, right? I feel like your, your focus, everything else doesn't matter, but this offer and the empress, right? Everything else is upside down. Everything else doesn't matter. It, you know, it, it has no value to you at the moment. Even this nine of cups has no value to you at the moment. All you can see is this offer in the Empress. Right? So very interesting, Leo. Okay, let's get some cards for Leo. Let's get some angel cards. Messages for Leo, please. Messages for Leo, this one. Okay. Yeah, we have lucid dreams. There's opportunities to lie ahead. And I feel like you may get visions in your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Write them down if you need to. Okay. We also have the ladies mantle. This is healing magic, you know. Um, and I feel like that's exactly what you're going through. You're going through mending. You're going through healing. Um so let's get some Moonology cards for Leo. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a timeline because I want to know more about this. When is this going to happen for Leo? Right? So we have a time to give rather than take. That's the Six of Pentacles energy. So I feel like you're looking for balance in your life, you know, and you have luck on your side, Leo. So, it's all going to transpire exactly the way it's supposed to. Okay, now let's get a timeline. When can Leo expect this situation with the Emperor and the Empress? When can Leo expect this situation to transpire? Messages, Spirit. Give me a timeline. Okay. It will happen right before the summer months. Okay, so summer is just around the corner. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number for Leo. What angel number do we have, Spirit? Messages. Okay, we have one, two, three, vision. Your path will not look identical to anyone else's. This is what makes you unique. Remember that you stay the path that feels connected. The path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are. Okay, your affirmation, Leo, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. Okay, so follow your vision, hold your vision, because I feel like, you know, you're, you're being led on your path, you know, but the thing to remember, Leo, when we have towers, they're meant to redirect us into an alignment. So I feel like, you know, letting this tower 
do what it's supposed to and bring on these changes, bring on this new cycle is going to help you out in your journey. Okay, we have several endings and new beginnings, hundreds of thousands in each person's lifetime, right? There's always something beginning as something is ending. So don't be fearful for these changes. These changes are meant to realign you, redirect you, put you back on a path where the universe has destined you to go, right? So have faith in your situation, Leo. Okay, so if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at your other placements. And my beautiful Leo, until your next reading, many blessings to you, love and light.